Hello everyone, Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Market conditions uh, remaining bearish. Pretty ugly day we had yesterday. Uh, still an overall uptrend. We're sitting right at that 432 level. Uh, we'll take a look at a, uh, the S&P chart here in just a minute. Uh, but we are definitely seeing some oversold conditions now. Momentum has shot all the way back down to the to the downside. So one of the things on the indicator that we uh, that we include is once it starts to reach an extreme you'll notice that this starts to go back to green because typically once you get to this lower edge of the extreme range the reversal risk is now back to the upside that we get a bounce right here it just typically does not say stay sustainable it can certainly go back up for a day or two and you know and then continue to move back down but at, at these levels we certainly want to be watching for that there's two risks one is that we get a you know kind of a capitulation kind of a really fearful sell-off some panic uh, the market might need something like that to be able to kind of flush things out get rid of some of uh, the, the fear that's pent up and allow for some new buying to come back in that doesn't always have to happen but it um, after a lot the last couple of days it kind of feels like there's some pent-up energy that wants to go to that downside so there's certainly some caution warranted the data in terms of trend analysis certainly in that area but you'll notice we've got now we've got momentum extreme to the downside <clears throat> we've got breadth also approaching extreme to the downside uh, we'll look at both of those charts here in a minute and then sentiment at all is also still positive so we're not seeing a real spike in, in bearishness and sentiment um, so this actually sets up for another possible bullish location for a bounce if we go over to the sentiment we're down we're back down to this level this is uh, 1176 bottomed out here at 1122 bottomed out here at 13 bottomed out here around 12. So if I go back, you know, the last, if we look at the last three years, you can see some of those real deeper, nasty sell-offs that we had in January, February, right as the bear market of last year was starting. That can get, that can definitely dip a lot lower. But traditionally, even if I go, if I go back five years, uh, it, it will pull, you'll start to find some bouncing around this location that we're at right here. Uh, you can see some, you can see how it can, where we're at on these most recent downturns and where it can potentially go on um, as things really get aggressive to the downside so we may you know we we may see that we may see it we certainly want to see a bounce some kind of confirmation bounce right here buy sell ratio is also looking pretty ugly right here where we're starting this uh, another expansion this direction uh, but that being said once those expansions start to get this wide traditionally going across here as a peak and, and down right here as a as a valley on the buy you can see the green down here that's a bearish trend when you have red up on this area that's one that we don't want to fight we don't want to be aggressively focusing on bullish trades or being the market aggressively when when we have this condition because the bias is the path of least resistance is to the downside so we're fighting that path if we attempt to go long that being said there's going to be particular plays like gold and oil recently oil in particular and maybe some biotech there's going to be selective stocks but even those um won't won't perform uh in a lot of cases you'll see rallies and then fades because they they just can't fight the market as a whole uh, 0.17 on the buy sell ratio it can it uh some of these other lows that we've had right here point 07 so you can see 0 0.12 0 0.11 point so point 0.07 so it can get can certainly get a lot lower than it is meaning these can get a lot wider than they are uh, here's an example here's a really big example this was September of last year this essentially was um, you know pretty uh, one, one of the more one of the more significant bottoms that we've had we just had e almost every stock in the database was uh, showing a downtrend or a sell you can see that number right there are only 159 stocks in uptrends 5,000 in downtrends so um, interesting markets right here uh, some definitely some uh, some bearish tone and some caution to be warranted if we look at the Dow you can see we've now got 16 10 stuck in the middle and only three in the overall uptrend let's look at those three real quick and see which ones they are <clears throat> 
see if there's anything interesting we've got ibm which is showing uh some positivity here breakout and then and then a little bit of a pullback yesterday travelers group bottoming out united health with a nice confirmation bar in healthcare. so interesting stocks when you see and you go through and look at it with that perspective let's look at the muscle stocks group there's not very many in there today usually that list is you know fills the entire page that also says something that there's just there's just not much moving right now. So let's see which ones are moving. Uh, shipping and transportation, LPG. That's actually a really nice looking bullish pattern where you have that uptrend, a, a long consolidation phase, long in this case, 10, 12 days, and a bit of a confirmation bar. You can see it hit some resistance right there, but we're in this overall bullish profile. And uh, and within an overall uptrend and had a pretty big correction, had a big retracement, started a new trend that could be considered a new bullish, uh, a new bullish bias, a new bullish trend. Keep an eye on that one. Uh, and some of these stocks may be guinea, you know, they may, they, they may be kind of flights to, to safety. They may be flights for capital to come out of risk and to go into other things. But, um, and they, and sometimes those trends may not continue, but it obviously worked yesterday on a pretty nasty uh, down day. Uh, let's look at the next couple here. Let me go to uh, where do I want to go? Right here, LPG, SPLK. Big gap up on that. Have to look to see what the story was on that. Twenty percent. Uh, a pretty big move on those big gaps. If it bumps all the way up to extreme, typically you want to wait a day or two. In this case, where that body is real thin, we want to watch to see if there's some kind of an odd, like a buyout or something. Sometimes that'll also happen at first glance, though it's always hard to, uh, to uh, tell without a little bit more homework on that. CNK, Consumer Discretionary, Cinemark Holdings, uh, interesting you know, movies. And again, from here, this is, you know, the one of the advantages, you can just get a quick idea. It's like, oh, I've never would have found or looked for uh, Cinemark, uh, but now it shows up in the scan. And now I can say, I want to do a little more, a little bit more homework. You can go out to this more button, go out to these other, some of these other locations and look at any additional information that you may want to consider as you're doing your analysis. VST utilities, we did see utilities. In fact, let's go back to this index, see if we got... We're still strong on that. So 2.5 on the buy sell ratio right here in utilities is the Dow utilities. So it's trending up a little bit. Uh, that was one of them that actually was looking, had some confirmation on it. BST in the top, HEP, oil and energy, and another transportation, STNG. So STNG and LP. A couple of shippers that are in there for today. That'll do it for today's update. Everybody have a fantastic day today.